My name is Anne Petrie, and along with my friend and fellow artist, Jane Coom, we have put together this show called Said Unsaid. Both of us were interested in text and writing, and um, we thought we would put our work together, but work completely independently, which is what we did. So uh, Jane's focus was on, um, on COVID writing very specifically. She um, felt a lot of anxiety around COVID, a lot of worry, a lot of, I mean, not unusual in these times. And uh, so she worked her way through it by making some of these pieces. One of them, she numbers the COVID days, uh, which are still continuing, it's not over yet. And um, on another one, she was just writing to, to, to write out anxiety with reference particularly to poems by Rainer Maria Rilke, and you can see that in the show where this, this constant writing, and she's also done that on other pieces where she's laid down a colored ground and then made writing motions. The motion of writing seemed to help her deal with some of the anxiety, and not, not that it was a mental health project. She's done a lot of text and a lot of writing, so this was really just an extension of that, not just an extension. It was a, it was a way of, of, of getting into COVID and getting into work, so I think she's really done a good job at that. Um, as for myself, um, I, I wasn't really responding to COVID explicitly, except that it was a period when I went back to some text work that uh, I had started, I guess, before COVID, well, definitely before COVID, and it gave me a chance to, to do that work. And also, um, as I did the work, I began to see some of the things that really were a, a reflection of, I guess, my thoughts about COVID and, or my thoughts during COVID not deep thoughts about COVID itself. But in the installation, which is called um, How to Live Now, I was looking at phrases that um, we all know from childhood, those kind of very restrictive phrases, like make your bed and be quiet, and you know those things that we're told as kids. And um, how as we get older, and I'm definitely older, a lot older now, those phrases can resonate really differently for us, and especially if we take the time with them. And so I was trying to create an atmosphere in which you would be confronted by these things that used to be so negative, and if by changing the, the, the tonal value, it, we can look at them differently and they can resonate more deeply for us, and not in a negative way, in hopefully a positive way. And so that's, I think, for me, um, was kind of um, like COVID, where we've had to restrict ourselves in many ways. There have been a lot of demands on us. But if you stop being defensive about it and kind of embrace it, for those of us who are privileged enough to not to have to work or you know, live in difficult circumstances, it can be, it can be I think, a, a very positive time, has been a very positive time to me. Um, considering the fact that I am a very fortunate person. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful for this time. Uh, not true for most people, unfortunately, or many people. So uh, uh, with, with the letters that I had been working, I had so many letters, because I made so many banners, that I started to cut up the letters and just look at them from a design point of view, like what can I do with all these letters? So I made a piece that just was just was randomly placing these letters, seeing what I could do with them. And um, then I went into that, and that's a painting that you'll see that's called, um, uh, what is it called? It is called What I Meant to Say. Because I, I wanted that, you know, it's obviously letters, but it doesn't make any sense. So then I went further into that, put it in Photoshop, a lot of mechanical stuff I did here, put it into Photoshop, and then just started to look for sections that maybe I could make into smaller paintings. And that's how these came about. There are 27 of them, because I thought of it as an alphabet plus one, so that's 27. And they all come from that other painting. They're there somewhere, they can actually be found, 
And because they're squares, um, they can also be moved around. So, um, I had a, a visitor today, someone I knew, who said, you should make this interactive, like just let people come in and move stuff around. So she moved this one around, had been that way. And so now I think maybe people, maybe I should just put a note, people come in and move them around. So um, I have a name for this. What did I call it? Letterboxes. That's what I called it. I was going to call it 26 plus 1, but then I thought I'd be more direct. And the last piece that I have, if Ephraim can move in here. Oh, there's two more, sorry. This one again derives from the piece, what I meant to say. And I went into it horizontally and vertically again and just looked for things that still had the sense of language. That's what I was interested in. Like, how far can you, can you ever get rid of language? Well, you can, of course, but you can also find different. And so that says nothing, but I think it's, we would recognize it as language. And so I called it epigram, but a um, number of people, I'm, I'm, my husband is Jewish and I, we belong to a synagogue. And so recently I've actually been, after, long after I did this, I've been looking at Hebrew and I realized that it, it really looks like Hebrew. And uh, our rabbi was here recently. She thought she could record, she could actually point out letters. I'm not that good at Hebrew, I've just started. But anyway, I just think of it as language. And that's why I called it epigram. And then along the walls here, I took the phrases that I had originally started with and thought, well, what about if I'm asking people to meditate on them, why don't I meditate on them? <laughs> so I just sat at my computer and I've called it sitting meditation 20 minutes. 20 minutes is the standard when you start meditating, 20 minutes is often what you do. And so I just sat at my computer and I took the phrase, like, be quiet, and I turned off the autocorrect, and I just saw, it was one of those, what would happen if I just typed these phrases over and over and over again, as accurately as I could? And so that's what I did. I never corrected any mistakes, I never stopped, this is literally 20 minutes. And just listen is 20 minutes. I use three others. And so I, I, um, I was reluctant to show them. I wasn't going to show them. I just decided a few weeks, a few days before that I would see what they look like. And um, I like them. And other people seem to too. It's kind of an interesting thing. So you could do it yourself. Very easy. So um, that's our show, um, and I really hope that uh, if you have come, you've enjoyed it, and if you want to come, I hope you will. <laughs>